All right, so let's take a look at New Mexico's zone triple option series here. And this is out of 30 personnel, so there are three running backs and no tight ends in the game. We've got two split ends out here on the line, not split out too wide um, so that they can be effective in their blocking technique. Um, so this is against a 4-2-5 defense or, you know, old school 4-4. But uh, as the ball is snapped, the offense is looking to get a zone blocking scheme going to the right. So we got two double teams going right here. And they could work up to a linebacker, or if the ball is handed off, the, uh, the running back could read the linebacker to determine which gap to go to. Um, if the ball is not handed off, then we have a double option with the pistol back and the quarterback and a lead um, blocker in this running back right here who's going to lead on the play side linebacker. So as this plays out, we'll see how it, how it moves here. Okay, quarterback is taking it outside, and we have our lead blocker on the outside linebacker, and you have your three options. You have your running back inside. You have your quarterback keeping the ball on a nice downhill angle, attacking um, that second defender that shows. And then you have your um, uh, pitch back, who's back here in good pitch relationship um, behind the quarterback. All right, so... Def the defenses have to decide who are they going to defend, and their goal is to try and put a man on everybody, and your job um, and the option is to um, get everyone blocked and, and create a conflict between two offensive players and one defensive player. And so right here um, you can see this, uh, this, unblock this is the uh, second unblocked player. So you have the first unblocked player is the defensive end, and then the second unblocked player is the outside linebacker. So if the defensive end squeezes and the quarterback keeps it, then he's going to keep her pitch off the outside linebacker. If defensive end um, sits, then it's an automatic give to the running back. All right, let's say uh, the defensive end squeezed. Now the quarterback's got it, and he's looking to pitch or keep. If this guy takes a running back out here, then the quarterback's just going to keep it on a nice gain out there. Receivers in this need to be very good blocking receivers and they're going to attack the corner's leverage, attack his outside shoulder. Um, but this is a wonderful play and a lot of fun to run when you get it working well together. It's a play that you should be able to get a lot of um, use out of it in a game situation. So let's just watch it at full speed right now. One more time. And in slow motion, 